In this tutorial we'll be creating a burning title effect which you can apply to logos, images or whatever else it might be. And we're gonna be creating this fully procedural, so once you set the point, this is where the burning effect is gonna start off from. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with my text here, and I have this wall texture here, which I picked up, and I'm gonna drop it below my text layer and set it to alpha matte. So it's not just a solid white color. I'm gonna pre-compose this and name this text. Now I'm gonna create a solid. I'm gonna call this background, make sure it's black. And another solid, we'll make this white and we'll call this transition. I'm gonna duplicate the background and I'm gonna drop it below here and select these two and pre-compose them. Let's go into this composition, select the transition solid and I'm gonna add an iris wipe. I'm gonna increase the points to 32, set a keyframe for the radius and let's go to around five seconds here and increase the radius until it's out of frame. Feather the edge here and I'm gonna add an effect called rough edges. I'm gonna increase the borders and you can play around with some of more of the settings here. So maybe the sharpness and I'm gonna scale this down. So if we play this through, you can see we get these sort of fiery effects already. So I'm just gonna scale up this layer so we don't have the edges on our frame and this should be good enough. Now the cool thing about this effect is where we set the point it's basically where it's gonna grow from and this is how the text is gonna start flaming. So if we set the point from here, it's gonna go from right to left and so on. So let's go ahead and position this about here and go back to our main comp. Now on our text there, we're gonna add an effect called set matte. Make sure we select the transition layer and set it to luminance. Now if we hide this transition layer, you can see it's basically creating the same as you would select it to be a luma matte to this layer. Already you can see the flaming effect is happening. Now let's enable the transition layer, set it to linear burn. Now let's add a blur to this layer, so fast blur. And let's increase the blur to about 10 and maybe add the levels and just increase it by a bit here, like so. And let's add a tritone effect to add some color. And as you can see, we're getting some colors on the edge. And let's add something that looks kind of burnt. Now let's rename this layer to burn. Let's duplicate this composition, set it back to normal and we'll get rid of these effects. I'm gonna rename this to fire. And here we're gonna start adding a bunch of effects to create the firing edge. Let's add the first effect that's called invert, then a CC composite and we'll set this to multiply. And basically we've got an edge from the transition here which we can now add color to and control it. But to add a bit more detail, we're gonna add a turbulent displace, drop it above our CC composite, and you can see we got those nice white lines right above our edge. And if we decrease the size here and play with the amount, basically got this nice color variation here. And once again, let's add a set matte effect to this. And we'll select the text and make sure it's set to alpha channel. So now we've got this burning edge, which we can add color to. Let's go ahead and add a tritone effect. And I'm gonna set this to something orangey, like so. And now if we set the layer to additive, you can see we've got this nice burning effect on the edge alongside our burning texture here, which if we increase the blur, we get a bit more of a burnt type of edge here before it burns out. And as always, we can add a glow to a fire here. So I'm gonna add the glow, increase my intensity, and these settings you're just gonna play around with until you're happy with. And now, lastly, I just wanna add some embers to add more to this fire effect. So duplicate this once again, set it back to normal. Let's rename this embers. And I'm gonna get rid of all of these effects. And this is gonna be the trickiest one, but I hope you follow along. So first off, I'm gonna add a CC ball action and set the ball size to about 15. I'm gonna go to my first frame here, set the scatter to about 20. And on my instability state here, I'm gonna set a keyframe and move to five seconds and give it two evolutions. So it's just like particles moving around. And now we're gonna do something very similar to what we've done previously. So add set mat. The first one is gonna be from the text, set to alpha. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna set it to our burn texture, use the luminance. 
and invert it. So this is the trickiest part, but as you can see, we're getting these nice sort of particles emitting from the edge of our burn. Let's unhide this and I'm going to drag this below our burnt layer. So you can see we are getting these nice embers coming out of the flaming edge. And if you want to delay this a bit, you can simply drag the embers layer and move it a few frames forward. And that will just give it a bit more life here. And again, the reason I chose this type of transition effect is I can go ahead and duplicate this and set another point over here. Maybe move this one over here and it will automatically update it and it's going to burn from both sides. So this is why I chose the iris wipe and not just the fractal noise layer, which is going to be from the center, like always. Now, one more thing is if you want to use transparent background. So for example, I'm going to drop a gradient ramp on our background and we're getting these artifacts. Now, the quick fix for this is if we go to our burned layer here, let me just isolate it, which is the one causing this. If I go into my levels here and set to alpha, I can increase the gamma here to two and add a set matte effect, make sure it's set to text, set to alpha channel, and here select effects and masks. And as you can see, we've got the same effect on a different background. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.